hello everyone my name is ishmael n and welcome to today's quick video and this is one of those things that uh, i have said in the past but i never got to speak about them that much hallelujah but or more deeply in the name of the lord jesus christ so i want to share with you today in jesus martin because this is a weird and this is so realistic you know uh look at the case of joseph joseph in the book of genesis he refused to sleep with his master's wife because she belonged to his master. He was like, I will not commit such a sin before God and my master. Hallelujah. So listen, uh, I'm giving a word. I'm, I'm, I'm very confident it's going to help somebody. This word is for somebody. And it can also be a lesson to me. Praise the Lord. So all of you listen. Someone does want to talk to you. I've been in cases where I wanted to talk to somebody. But you find that you are still stuck in a situation where you are in a toxic relationship or you are in a relationship which at the end you find that it ends bad or it doesn't it's not even an ordained or uh, a predestined relationship by god which was supposed to lead to marriage so there are things that as christians we hang into and those things that are only there just to delay us so that and for people who fear the lord they won't try to want to come between. I can't tell you how many times I've seen God-fearing women. You find that I'm interested and I can tell that I would be happy to even like marry this lady. She's a God-fearing lady. But she's in a relationship where you can count years. You realize it's been many years and she's trying to be faithful, but it's not going anywhere. Then I was like, this is how the enemy hinders some people's kingdom marriages. So the, like, there is someone who wants to talk to you. When you realize something is not God ordained or it's not going anywhere, please let it go. Find a way to relieve yourself so that you can God can finally do what he wants to do. Some people won't come into your life. Some blessings won't happen to you until you let go of something. Some, that's why some people, the moment they get out of something bad, that's when something amazing begins to happen. They'll be like, oh, it's because God wanted you to let go. Some things won't come while you're still hanging on to some of these things. Sometimes you have to let go and God now, that's when he's going to bless you. And I pray may this word does something great in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Bye.